with a machete shot inside an apartment complex and a neighbor is the one who pulled the trigger. Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where all this happened as the investigation moves forward. Police and prosecutors will figure out whether this was self-defense or if charges will be filed. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with what we know about this case so far. Matt. Well, Stephanie and Aaron, right up the hill behind me is the Bella Vista apartment complex. This is where it all went down. And as detectives are still trying to piece this all together, there's a lot they have to consider. This was the scene Friday night at New Haven's massive Bella Vista apartment complex. Police cruisers and detectives focusing on this building. Like a book hitting the floor, there's that loud crack. And that's why... I had no idea what it was. Turns out it was a gun shop. According to New Haven Police, they got a number of 911 calls regarding a man with a machete on the 17th floor, banging on doors and rambling. We know that there was uh, some kind of altercation that happened in the hallway. Uh, one individual uh, shot the victim. Police say 56-year-old John Reynolds was shot and killed by a neighbor, and they add those calling 911 told them Reynolds possibly had a history of mental health issues and may have been under the influence. We had, you know, a few instances here and there with him, but nothing that was, you know, um, of, of, sort of, of the, the magnitude of what we saw the other day. Neighbors didn't want to talk on camera today, but one resident telling us he saw Reynolds with a machete outside the building on a previous occasion. Now detectives continue to investigate on whether the shooting was in self-defense or if charges could be filed against the shooter. If you have a way of, of getting away from maybe something that you feel threatening, the state would say we, they would prefer you do that first rather than resorting to just using deadly physical force. According to Connecticut state statutes, a person can use deadly physical force if they believe the other person is about to kill someone or inflict great bodily harm. The state law also states a person is not required to retreat if they're inside their own home. Just in general, uh, in Connecticut, you know, you are allowed to use deadly physical force in defense of yourself. Uh, and a lot of the state statute is, is, is your, uh, are your actions reasonable? Now, police tell us the person that did pull the trigger did have a license for a gun. No charges again at this point, but police stress the investigation is ongoing. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3, Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you.